so today I'm going to be teaching you guys about the four rhetorical devices. Um, these are a literary device that helps your writing um, sound better um, and makes it more interesting for the reader. So I'm going to pass out notes for you guys to fill out. They're fill-in notes, so you're not going to have to write all of them out. Alright, so the four rhetorical devices are parallelism, alliteration, amplification, and anaphora. And I would like you guys to say that with me because I know they're a little hard to pronounce. Um, so just repeat after me. Parallelism. Parallelism. Alliteration. Alliteration. Amplification. Amplification. Anaphora. Anaphora. All right. So parallelism is um, the use of components in a sentence that are grammatically the same or similar in their construction, sound, meaning, or meter. So for example, he preferred fruits to sweets. Fruits is the word that is going to be parallel to sweets. So as you can see, the words are similar in some type of way. And you'll see that with all of these. Uh, the book was interesting as well as adventurous. Does anyone know what two words would be parallel to each other? Was and as? Actually, it is interesting and adventurous. They're kind of similar, as you can tell, like interesting and adventurous are similar to, to each other as, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but basically like how fruits and sweets, they're both like um, types of food and interesting and adventurous when you're describing something, they're similar to each other. Does that make sense? Okay. So does anyone want to try the next one? Yeah, so dead and alive would be a representation of parallelism. Am I good to move on? Mm -hmm. All right. So the next is alliteration. And alliteration is a literary device in which a series of words begins with the same consonant sound. This is seen a lot in tongue twisters, brand names, quotes, and phrases. Um, as you can see up here, we have Donald Duck, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, and Coca-Cola. Those are all... Um, examples of alliteration. And also up here we have um, two examples, and it's Becky's Beagle, Barked and Bake, Becoming Bothersome for Billy. Um, as you can see, they used B for their alliteration, and um, not, all the, not all the words in an alliteration have to start with the same letter. As you can see, four doesn't start with the letter B. Uh, another example is Tim took many tools to make toys for tots. So the next is amplification. And amplification is the use, use to embellish a sentence or statement by adding further information. So an example of this is, Miss Jones is unfair. Miss Jones is unfair, often testing us over material we have not been taught and refuse, refusing to answer questions when we don't understand the content. And as you can see, the writer of this dives deeper into the reasoning on why Miss Jones is unfair by explaining what she, she does wrong. So the next is amplification. And amplification is the use, use to embellish a sentence or statement by adding further information. So an example of this is, Miss Jones is unfair. Miss Jones is unfair, often testing us over material we have not been taught and refuse, refusing to answer questions when we don't understand the content. And as you can see, the writer of this dives deeper into the reasoning on why Miss Jones is unfair by explaining what she, she does wrong. So anaphora. Anaphora is the deliberate repeti repetition of the first part of the sentence in order to achieve an artistic effect. This is used in books, poems, and a lot of the songs you guys listen to. Um, an example of this would be, I am awake, I am strong, I am ready. As you see, in that sentence they repeat I am in all of the sentences. 
Uh, same with mom, we will not run, we will not scream, we will not be late. In each of those sentences, we will not is repeated. Once you get to your, once you, once you get to the paper that um, you think fits, I'm going to come over and check and then I will give you guys your next instructions from there. Alright, you guys can move. What is with you guys in Goku? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Out of my ear. Goku is big, Goku is strong, Goku is stupid. I am dumb. I am blonde. <laughs> Say, I am blonde. Just the I am blonde. You really are the same. No! I'm not going to that. Woohoo! I definitely think you should. Would you like me to move? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Exit slip real quick. Um, it's just to see if you guys learn anything. 